Hey, we're back! This is going to be a great episode. You have to wait and see. We're going to talk about the ups and downs of eBay and Amazon. We're going to talk about helping another reseller locally who's struggling. And most importantly, stay tuned to the end so you can learn how you can get your hands on a free box of goodies right after this. Hey, how are we doing? No, it's not morning time. No, it's not a breakfast with Kevin. But I'm sure you're thinking, where the heck have you been? Have not seen you for days, man. What is going on? Well, over the weekend, I pulled my lower back out. And I have been suffering for quite a few days. Not able to move. Like, it hurts to change position, it hurts to lay down, it hurts to sit for too long, but there's only so much time of sitting idle I can take. So I had to get up and do some things and I may have overdone it a little today. So here it is the evening time and I'm sore. But I wanna to talk to you about eBay, Amazon, the whole nine yards, you know, everything that we do a little bit. The uh, so we saw some slow sales over the last week with both eBay and Amazon, but we also weren't active on either platform like, weren't listing, weren't adjusting prices, weren't going in and fixing things, weren't just going in and logging into the system. And it shows because they didn't reward us. Yesterday, I listed a few things on eBay. I don't know, 15, 20 items or so. Um, took some items off that uh, just lost inventory at Amazon. And I was hoping they were going to put it back in. But it looks like they're going to reimburse us for the stuff instead. I don't know which method I like better. Them reimbursing us or us being able to sell it. Because reimbursement... They average out the number, and I don't like the game they play with that, but it is what it is. You've got no control over it. It's, they, own, they own the marketplace, so they decide what they want to reimburse you for. But, uh, uh, you know, eBay, it, uh, it was adjust some prices, you know, stuff fluctuates, prices changes. You guys know the racket. You're in the game, you know. Sometimes you got to adjust your prices, both to lower them and raise them but uh you know so i was in messing around playing around with things and uh boom got a couple sales interesting so uh later in the evening i uh, attempted to set up a second ebay account and uh went through configured it all got it all set up and uh started listing some things i was going to try uh couple methods that were recommended by a, another reseller out there who um, did a recent video with another guy who was offering a training course in some methods of uh, using major retailers as your supplier and allowing them to ship it to your customer almost like drop shipping but without the total liabilities that a blind drop shipping company would give you you know if you went with a wholesaler or something else added maybe 15, 16 items from a major retailer. All was good, you know, they were looked like good pricing, looked like the items would sell, everything's great. I went to bed last night. I wake up this morning, I got an email from eBay. We've suspended your account. Not my primary account, the secondary account that I just created. They suspended it for suspicious activity. So I didn't get the opportunity today to reach out to them to say, hey, what is going on? Let's, you know, get this verified. Let's make sure everything's good. What do you think is suspicious? Because, you know, it's not suspicious. But, you know, I talked to a couple other people and they said they've heard of others having the same type issue. And that, uh, you know, you just got to reach out to eBay and take care of it. But more importantly, um, went through today. I spent a couple hours 
digging through some of our um, tubs of stuff that we have from those pallets. And yes, I'm still processing all the stuff from pallets that I ordered in back in April that finally arrived in May. And it's just we, we haven't had the time to dedicate towards going through 100% of it. Uh, Friday night, my stepdaughter came over and her and Kathy kind of dug through one of them that were out there and they organized it for us based on the type of product it is versus the way that I was organizing stuff on what platform I'd sell it on. Hey, this is all eBay. Hey, this is all Amazon. So now I've got to go back through those tubs that they have and say, this is an eBay item. This is a local item. This is a uh, Amazon item, you know, and sort it my way. <laughs> But, hey, I appreciate them digging through. They found a lot of great stuff uh, that they wanted to keep themselves as well as sell. But it, uh, it's interesting, you know, as I was going through some of the stuff, it, uh, I was finding some of the same stuff that we've gotten in uh, the reseller boxes we bought from Upper Valley Wholesale. As well as the previous pallet. You know, this is the second pallet and, uh, that we're digging through. So it's nice because the listings are already there. All I got to do is go bump up the quantity or um, reactivate the listing if it was an item that it sold. And uh, <clears throat> so in doing so, one of the items was uh, in a category that is uh, relatively highly restrictive on uh, Amazon. And, you know, we've tried several times to, you know, see if it would auto ungate us for it. And... Uh, you know, it's topicals. You know, it, there's all kinds of stuff, creams, lotions, you name it, that falls into that category. And uh, every single time we get prompted, got to have an invoice, got to have an invoice, got to have an invoice. We're like, man, we passed on so many deals over the last probably six, seven months that would have been just great to purchase. But we weren't, we weren't ungated in that category. We were restricted. We couldn't sell the stuff. So popped on one that was in this box that I know there's multiple quantities because the girls were joking about it the other day. It's those uh, stupid little black face mask things that you put on and then you got to peel off and they peel part of your skin off with them. You know, people were doing YouTube videos, Facebook lives, all kinds of crap with them. Well, there's a few of those in there. So I pull one up and of course it's topicals. And I'm like, you know, for an explicitive and giggles, um, you know, I do try to keep this family friendly. I'm going to try again. And I went ahead and said, you know, see if I can sell this. Boop. Okay, you got to ask for approval. Click the button. Bam. You're approved. Wait, what? You're approved? No invoice needed, no other. Holy smokes. That's awesome. All right. I was feeling great. Continue to box up a bunch of stuff that was going to Amazon today. Um, took some of the stuff listed as merchant fulfilled because the numbers just didn't look right to send it into Amazon. A couple of them were these dome covers for uh, a Galaxy S7 and a, an iPhone 7. And we've had uh, one in the past that came in one of our reseller boxes that we sent into Amazon and it sold real quick. You know, the box was a little damaged and open so we listed it as used, like new, and explained that it was just box damage and it still sold relatively quick. So I had a handful of, of them, at least five that I could put my hands on today to list, you know, three for the iPhone 7 and two for the Galaxy S7 and um, put them up, boxed up uh, everything that I needed to take over to our office to box up all the Amazon stuff, print the labels, everything else. Plus I had sold a hat on eBay that I needed to ship out that was over there. So I go over, I get all my Amazon stuff processed, all labeled, uh, packed in the right boxes of where they want to send it to, all taped up, load it up in the truck. I grab that hat, load that up, throw it in an envelope, slap a sticker on it, throw it in the truck, getting ready to leave, and does it my phone ding with an order from Amazon for Merchant Fulfilled for one of them dome cases. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I literally listed that probably an hour prior. That's just crazy. Had I sent that into Amazon, now there was nobody on the listing. The listing said unavailable. So had I sent it into Amazon, it would probably be a few more days, and then who knows if it would have been the right timing for that person to buy it. But hey, I was happy the sale happened. 
you know, um, you never know how it goes. But it, it seems kind of funny that it seems like Amazon is similar to eBay and they reward you in promoting your listings if you're active. But noticing more and more when we're active, we get a lot of sales. We skip a few days of not logging in and checking things and sales kind of trickle off. They'll go either real low or we'll sell things that have been notoriously good for us. You know, the one-offs don't don't sell. We log in, we start doing some stuff, we adjust some pricing, we're in adding new listings, whatever it may be, and boom, the one-offs start selling. Give me one second here. All right, sorry about that. The battery was running low. At least this time I caught the battery icon blinking at me uh, before it just shut off in the middle of filming. I um, guess I should have looked at the amount of battery that was on it when I first opened it up. But, uh, it, you know, it's it seems like Amazon rewards you for being active, just like eBay does. Um, and I think that's where I left off the train of thought. But, uh, you know, uh, today a local reseller who um, I've met up with a few times now, um, met him. Hey, Lola. You want to say hi to on the camera? Is that it? Huh? The Lola, you got to look at that way. You got to look that way. Yeah. Not at me. Look over here. Right here. Yeah. So apparently Lola wants to be on, on film today too. So she did a, a video call with Kathy a little bit ago. Uh, Kathy's away this week um, for her job. And... Um, so it's just Lola and I all week, huh? Just hanging out. But, um, <clears throat> so anyway, there's this other reseller uh, who I've met up. I, I met him through an online group. Um, I think you guys may have heard me talk about him earlier this year. Not the one a few weeks ago that I was talking about that has a group that he runs and is based here in Syracuse. But uh, this other guy, I met him through um, Walter uh, Blake. Um, it's group 0 to 10K. Um, and it, uh, it was just funny that, you know, the guy was here locally and, uh, um, started very similar to me around the same time. Okay, dog, you're on camera. You can see yourself. Um, but he's struggling. He's struggling hard. So he can't get past, um, being able to source properly and find the right products to sell. So, oh. So he, he got hung up on um, VCRs to begin with, had some great success, and he keeps buying like stacks upon stacks. I mean, he goes to the thrift stores and he cleans them all out. And right now is the time of year that they're not selling, and that's what he's finding. You know, all of a sudden the sales died off because most people are outside enjoying the beautiful weather. They're not inside watching TV, you know. So we had a long talk about diversifying himself and, and finding other areas to source things. You know, it's, you can go to the same stores. You know, he's, he's getting frustrated because he's going and he's like, there's no more VCRs, there's no more VCRs. All right, well, while you're in that thrift store, there are tons of other items to look at. Go look at clothing, go look at shoes, go look at sporting goods, look at kids' toys, look at plush, look at video games, look at DVDs, CDs. Whatever is in there, knickknacks, board games. You guys have been in a thrift store? How many opportunities are in that store? If one thing's not working, go try something else. You know, I told them there's days where well, I'll go in and I'll focus, and every thrift store I'll hit, I'm going to look for books. And I pop in books, 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 books. All of a sudden, I walk in a store and I'm not popping on books. Well, if I'm not under a time crunch, I'm going to swoop the store and find a couple other areas. What do I see? I always keep my eyes open. I'm always looking. And I'm always switching it up. You know, some of the thrift stores around here have gotten quite smart and caught on. You know, I posted a picture the other day. If you guys follow me on Instagram or in a couple of the groups that I'm on on Facebook, there was a scientific calculator that sells for like $14 on Amazon that a Goodwill marked $19.99. $19.99. I'll include a, vi a picture of it in this video for you to see. That is insane. It's it's a, a real basic scientific calculator. Nothing fancy. You know, six months ago, I probably could have gotten $30 for that calculator. But not anymore. 
And I sure would not buy it at 20 bucks. There's no room in there. It's like, what are these people thinking? It's like they lose sight of the fact that, you know, they're there to help people who are in need and whatever other reasons. Because resellers like us come in there and swoop in and buy all the stuff. But, uh, you know, bottom line, that money goes back to help their mission. The store is not their mission. Their mission is other services that they have. And when they mark stuff up to ridiculous prices because they think that that's what they can get because they looked at eBay and somebody was selling it for that, they don't look at the sold and comp list uh, and completed listings. They just simply look at what people have it listed at. Okay, well, I could list something up right now and put $150 on it. Doesn't mean somebody's going to buy it for $150. Case in point, I've got that now. I've got a brand new sealed copy of Office 2013 Professional. It's you know a whole gamut of, of, of Office software. We had it up for $200. The going rate, the sales, the comps were all showing $200. Amazon still sells it for $263. Newegg still sells it for $200 and something dollars. I don't remember a number off the top of my head. But um, we put it up. And it's kind of sad idle, kind of sad idle. So I lowered the price to 175. Boom, started getting some offers, but they're all low ball offers. People coming at 25, 50. I'm counting her and saying, you know, 150. I had one guy ballsy enough to reach out to me and send me a message telling me I'm an effing idiot because that software is whatever he said, three years, five years old, is no longer supported by Microsoft. Really, because it's not the most current version. It's not their online version. It's the previous desktop version to the current version. And he's like, well, a new version's coming out in the fall. And, you know, this is no longer going to be supported. I can't see paying that price for it. But that's what the going right is. You go to Staples to buy it. You go to Office Max to buy it. You're going to be paying 250 bucks above. You go to Newegg. You go to Amazon. You go to any online reseller. CDW, I was in a tough time trying to find a comp on there. When I put it in, it just, it's crazy. You know, because they come up with all kinds of software license packs. Not so much like this. Now, this is the downloadable version. It's the card that's inside. But it's it's just crazy, the mentality of this guy. He's like, I wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks for that thing. Well, sorry, you ain't getting it from me for 50 bucks. So he stopped countering offering until today. You know, this was last week. Today, he starts in again. Offered me $50. Nope, sorry, I'm not budgeting my numbers. And then he offered me $75. Nope, sorry, not budgeting my numbers. $150 is what you pay. You know, I had it up for $200. I lowered it to $175. I'm willing to sell it today to you for $150. He doesn't want to pay that kind of money. You ain't going to get it from me at the price you want it at, buddy. Not when everybody else is selling them for that same price that I have. You know, maybe you'll find somebody with an open copy, a copy that they've used and is no good. You know, you have trouble activating. This is brand new, sealed in the box. Don't think so. I would keep it and use it myself if I had to. But I really don't like it. I prefer Google Docs, Google Sheets, because I can access them anywhere. All I got to do is log into my account. I'm not tied to that computer. Or the computer over my office, or the computer in my office here, or the other laptop, or the, you know, the files are stored on my drive. Open them right up. I much prefer it. So anyways, back to this other reseller. He, um, he's struggling hard. And he's going through, I would say, almost like a midlife crisis. He's trying to figure out himself. He's trying to figure out what he wants, what he wants to do. He's had some failed attempts at businesses in the past, and he doesn't want to make the same mistakes. But he's looking for that ultimate fast cash. And this is not the business to find the fast cash. Can you make some good money? Absolutely. Are things going to sell overnight? Ugh, sorry, I needed to move. Um, not always. Not always are things going to sell overnight. You know, it just happened to be a fluke. Here I am give, uh, telling him, you know, you got to be prepared, prepared to hang on to stuff for the right buyer to come along. And literally an hour after we listed something, it sells. I'm like, I wish every day it was like that. I wish every time I listed, the stuff would sell. Bam! I'd be raking in it, but it's not happening, you know? So, 
Overall, uh, you know, this week I wish that uh, I was on vacation, not just taking time off to try and let my back mend. You know, I got pulled out of work for medical reasons, which it's not the greatest, but um, because I wish I just had this full week to just work on my business, work on reselling, work on our system, getting everything listed that we have sitting here to list, you know, finding somebody local to work with us, um, coming in and, you know, helping take pictures and helping list and create drafting drafts. And, um, you know, it, it, in two weeks, Paige will be up here now every other week full time for the summer. And she's going to help us out with quite a bit of that. But, um, you know, there's there's a lot to get started on it. And, and it's looking at all this stuff and it's saying, man, if I could have gotten up and moved every day this week, if I could if I could give more than just a couple hours, because I can literally sit for, you know, 15, 20 minutes and then I got to readjust because it's just it's painful. I can't lie flat. I can't friggin stand. I can't sit for too long. It's just crazy. You know, the other day it took me 20 minutes just to get out of the bed because I was in such excruciating pain. That's when I decided it was time to go to the ER and get things looked at because something's not right. So, but it, uh, you know, I wish I could say what I did to trigger it. I have no idea. Could simply be stress. Could simply just be some other way that my body's saying, hey, time out. We need a break. So whatever it is, it's it's you know giving me some time to reflect and think about things and where I want to head and what I want to do. And uh, you know the ultimate goal working for somebody else is just not it. You know you've been heard you've heard me say that you know uh, I'm working towards getting to full time. I think it's going to happen sooner than uh, I originally was was thinking. You know. Um, just because I've seen how much our business has grown, and if I could just put a, a full-time effort into it, I'm sure that it would double or even triple in sales, to say the least. But, you know, I've been over here ranting and rambling on for, you know, quite a bit. Um, I'm sure this video will end up being, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes or so, because uh, just this clip, I've got 12 minutes on it already, so it... Uh, you put that with the other ones, I'm sure it. Uh, I'm wasting a lot of your time. You know, hopefully you're finding value in all this. You're going to give us a thumbs up to let uh, YouTube and others know we're doing a great job. Um, you know, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. If you got friends, families, or fools out there that you know aren't subscribed to our channel, go tell them, subscribe. Let's grow this channel. You know, let's break 300 by the 4th of July. I think that's doable. You know, when I looked the other day, I think we were at like two, here, why don't I look right now? Uh, all right, that's not what I want. <laughs> 206, I swear that was higher the other day. But you know, you gain some, you lose some, but 206. So here it is, June 13th. We're at 206. So less than a month with your guys' help. Let's take this above 300. If we take this above 300, I want you to, if, if you send somebody here to subscribe to the channel, send somebody to watch these videos, come back to this video and comment on it. Because I'm going to pick one of the people who comment to win a reseller box or a repurpose box, as I like to call them. A box of goodies. I'm going to send it to you full of stuff that you can resell and make some money. Crazy, I know, right? So get out there. Let people know we're here. You, they need to subscribe to our channel. Help us grow this community. And if you don't want to leave a comment below, send me a direct message on Instagram. Reach out to us on Facebook. Let us know you sent somebody here to subscribe, and we'll add you into the mix. You know, and we'll give it away live on the air. Fourth of July. If we broke 300, I will draw the name with everybody watching live. All righty. Hustlers, get out there and go do.